Hey, what's up guys? Uh, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm doing a quick review of a shared stake, which is uh, an Ethereum based liquid staking protocol. So this is a user friendly decentralized open source protocol uh, specifically designed to actually enable you as a user to stake any amount of uh, Ethereum um, and uh, while you actually maintain the liquidity and the value of your staked amount. So the innovative protocol ensures that your staked Ether remains uh, an asset with a value that you can actually still use. So please give us a like and a subscribe. Make sure you check out the links in the description and also share the content with others. And uh, so the primary goal of the shared state platform in the immediate future is to purposefully serve as a gateway for stakers uh, and also simultaneously offering a chance uh, for uh, yield farming with two significant assets generated by the protocol. That is uh, the validator ETH, so VETH2, and the shared stake governance token, which is uh, SGT. I will explain this in a little bit, but uh, so the platform in itself, Shared Stake, is actually built to facilitate the transition to Ethereum 2 and beyond. And Shared Stake provides this uh, staking as a service. Um, and uh, also it does this in a centralized uh, fashion. And this unique offering is supposed to be designed to combat the high fees that are associated with Ethereum staking. And uh, it does offer minimum fees and also it is a cost effective uh, alternative. So. As an initial uh, custodial staking service, uh, Shared Stake uh, provides an opportunity for anyone to stake their ETH without the burden of maintaining or overseeing validator nodes. So in simpler terms, Shared Stake pretty much just alleviates the complexities that are inherent to Ethereum 2 staking. And users can actually stake any amount of uh, ETH uh, that, that they, you know, by pulling Shared Stake without actually worrying about the minimum staking requirements of 32 ETH, for example. So the platform's validators are hosted on uh, AWS and uh, through the inter, um, sort of uh, the introduction of uh, their derivative staking token VE2, um, the platform can actually create uh, liquidity within the market, enabling participants to pretty much have that opportunity to be able to exit their positions or make use of uh, other DeFi applications even before uh, you know, uh, Ethereum, uh, you know, kind of uh, we saw that upgrade with uh, the switch from uh, proof of work to proof of stake. So depositing Ethereum into shared stake smart contracts uh, just automatically mints you a staking token. So from that point, you can actually just uh, pretty much uh, uh, kick back and uh, there are no uh, further requirements from your end. And uh, this makes this process very seamless and uh, also makes it user friendly. Okay, so you can uh, pretty much uh, understand that the fact that uh, shared stake could be the ideal staking as a service solution for you if you're somebody who's just interested in uh, gaining a stake in Ethereum 2.0 and uh, if you like uh, let's say 32 Ethereum to become a validator an amount that equates to pretty much uh, somewhat at this point upwards of uh, 50k um, at the current market value, which is not something that, you know, a lot of people would have access to. You're able to then kind of uh, stake a smaller amount. And if you also possess more than 32 ETH, but not exactly uh, an exact multiple of this quantity, then uh, you don't have to worry about having like uh, uh, 64 ETH, for example. So if you prefer to also run, um, not to run, sorry, your own validator nodes, or you have concerns around uh, slashing penalties that could be triggered by unstable local energy conditions, this is also an option for you. So if you also don't wish to actually engage in the complex process of creating an ETH2 deposit credential through the command line interface, you'll also be able to use shared stake. And also, if you're somebody who's just looking for opportunities to yield uh, or to earn some yield rather from investing in Ethereum while also keeping a minimum risk, then you can do this. And also if you're also keen just to reduce the validator node infrastructure costs, sharing them with other participants, it allows you to have that flexibility while also allowing you to earn your staking profits, which are pretty much are quite lucrative and uh, an annual percentage yield of around a 9% mark. So also if you just want that peace of mind of knowing that your stake is actually backed 
by uh, industry standard cloud infrastructure with guaranteed uptime. It allows you to kind of uh, sleep soundly without uh, having too many concerns about your investment. So as you can see here uh, on shared stake, they have uh, a total of over 15,000 Ethereum already staked, over 500 validator nodes. You've got uh, uh, almost 30 million shared um, stake uh, total value locked. And uh, this is obviously the time of shooting the video. And you also have uh, uh, more than 5 million uh, uh, SGT, which is the ecosystem token circulating already. So all of these features make, you know, shared stake a compelling option for uh, individuals who are interested in Ethereum staking, but want to avoid obviously these technical complexities and that high entry threshold typically that is associated with uh, staking. So let's talk about the benefits of using shared stake. Okay. So one of the primary advantages of shared stake is the instant gratification it actually offers to its users. There's no need to receive uh, the ETH2 uh, equivalent tokens or to file any sort of uh, claims. So shared stake um, or shared stakers are actually rewarded with the VETH2 tokens immediately after the transaction has actually been approved on chain, making this process incredibly seamless. And also the user interface of shared stake is designed to be simple, intuitive, allowing you to stake your ETH within uh, sort of uh, just a few seconds by just pretty much clicking a few uh, um, buttons on sharedstake.org. And the ease of use is obviously something that significantly does reduce the barrier to entry, making staking very accessible to non-technical users as well. So in um, other words, obviously, if you look at shared stakers, they are also provided uh, with the flexibility to unstake they eat at any time by burning their V2 ETH uh, tokens. And this action is obviously subject to uh, the amount of ETH that is uh, available in the Minter contract. So shared stakes, rolling method of staking and unstaking does promote a healthy sort of uh, growth in the, uh, within uh, this uh, DeFi ecosystem in terms of the TVL, the total value that's logged simultaneously. Also making sure that uh, you as users uh, have uh, that affordability and in comparison with some other protocols you know where you know they've chosen to lock their stake as ethereum immediately you know you can uh, find that uh, shared stake does offer that transparency and flexibility making it a bit more of an attractive choice for people that want to stake so let's talk about the actual sg2 the version 2 that is the token that you are actually looking for if you want to um, obviously just have some exposure to uh, shared stake without necessarily uh, participating in the actual staking itself. You can just uh, have exposure to the SGT token. Uh, so with this token, there wasn't any airdrop. Uh, of course, instead, uh, there was that uh, migrator contract that was launched on the mainnet and the contract actually facilitates the conversion of a shared stake governance token, which was uh, SGT into the SGT V2 for users who uh, obviously choose to go through that process and users need to actually make sure that they activate and migrate uh, that function on the contract while also having that SGT in their wallet. Uh, and uh, that would mean that the contract is uh, authorized uh, and uh, can be utilized. So uh, when they execute, obviously the function, the contract will burn the specific amount of uh, SGT that's indicated by the user and in turn an equivalent amount of SGT V2 is uh, sent to your wallet. It's uh, obviously also important to know that the conversion will be a one-to-one -one ratio from SGT, which was uh, the original uh, token to SGT V2. So following this conversion, obviously your SGT V2 ETH liquidity will need to be locked into a vote escrow contract to generate a VESGT. Okay, so this token, not only carries governance rights, but also offers the highest rewards uh, within the shared stake ecosystem. So this process is actually designed with uh, protocols such as Pickle Curve and Iron in mind. And uh, it also aims to ensure long-term price stability and liquidity. And moreover, actually, it does serve to guarantee that uh, those who have a vested interest in the protocol's long-term success are the ones who actually participate in the governance and this strategy is integral to the sustainability and growth of the development of the shared stake platform if you just want to know obviously how you can actually buy sgtv2 this is quite pretty simple if you want to purchase you can simply use a decentralized exchange 
uh, such as Uniswap uh, or SushiSwap or Balancer. Alternatively, you can just use a Web3 wallet such as MetaMask, swap another digital asset for SGTV2 tokens. So just connect your wallet, obviously. In this example, we use MetaMask, connected the wallet, and uh, you can just go buy. Uh, uh, obviously, there's a buy tab on the, on the homepage, and uh, that will direct you to Cal Protocol. Make sure you actually import that token contract address into your wallet so you can actually be able to view your balances. You can find that on either CoinGecko, CoinMarketCap, that is the contract, or you can check the official documentation from shared stake, okay? So you can then swap, for example, here, we try to swap uh, some Ethereum for SGT, and uh, we submitted the transaction, paid that little gas fee, and uh, we had the actual tokens credited directly into our MetaMask. So pretty much, you can also to stake if you want to stake, which is obviously something that a lot of people would be interested in. You can stake, uh, obviously, Ethereum. Uh, just go to the stake tab on the home screen and uh, choose the amount of ETH that you actually want to stake. Make sure you confirm the transaction, pay the uh, amount of gas that is uh, required, and you can see here the deposits will be able to go through. You can also explore the funds on Shared Stake by clicking the Earn tab on the home page. Okay, so as far as fees, I'm sorry about the noise in the background, guys, but uh, as far as the fees, Shared Stake is actually committed to offering the most affordable rates in the market and may 0.315% of the actual deposit, which is an equivalent of 0.1 Ethereum per validator and only 5% of the accrual or the accrued annual percentage yield, which is the, obviously the APY after migration, okay? That is obviously something that's already taken place. So essentially, you know, you need to just make sure the operating uh, this validator no, node uh, is something that doesn't cost you money. So, uh, but at the end of the day, it isn't cost free. So, shared stake obviously uh, is uh, still dedicated to making sure that uh, members retain as much of their ether as possible, despite obviously the inevitable infrastructure expenses related to staking setups and obviously maintaining uh, that whole uh, process. And obviously, specifically, there is a 0.1 ETH uh, fee uh, validator uh, for obviously validator lots of uh, 10 to 100, which is utilized to cover infrastructure and labor costs as well, representing just about 0.315% uh, uh, of that deposit. And uh, since the official launch, obviously, a small 5% uh, fee, obviously, after that migration to um, uh, the uh, Ethereum 2, uh, this 5% uh, fee is now deducted from the accrued APY and these fees are actually then priced in uh, the version 2 uh, of uh, the VEF2 uh, implying that the amount uh, that is received after deposit may actually be uh, marginally less uh, than the initial deposit itself but despite all of that shared stakes rates uh, remain substantially lower than those of uh, some other competing platforms uh, representing obviously some significant savings for users as well. So the rate structure will continue to be reassessed uh, through shared stake uh, and their improvement proposals. And uh, this is to identify opportunities for further capital efficiencies for SGT DAO, which is the decentralized autonomous uh, organization and the members. This ongoing evaluation will ensure or is meant to ensure that uh, uh, you know the rates are remaining competitive and obviously they are offering uh, their customers the best possible value. If you want to know a little more, just make sure you go check out their FAQ section and also make sure you understand the risks of using these types of uh, platforms. If you want, you can also check out their audits and uh, the audits of their actual code. So let me know what you guys think of Shared Stake and uh, if this is something, if you're somebody who likes to stake Ethereum, is this something that you would consider? Uh, leave a comment in the comments. And don't forget to check out the links in the description, okay? So uh, there's a free book that I've just put out called uh, DeFi Millionaire. This is a very comprehensive text for anyone who's really looking to uh, find uh, their path uh, within DeFi and make sure they set themselves up for some uh, financial freedom. 
there is a free link uh, to the book, which is a free text. It's very comprehensive. If you want to know all about DeFi, just go to DeFi-millionaire.com. And also make sure you check out the other links in the description to my other books, Tokenized Trillions. Uh, if you want to know more about real world asset organization on the blockchain in etc or you can check out blockchain applied which actually deals with real world uh, uh, sort of examples in different use cases across multiple industries also make sure you go to our main site hundreds of free resources and tools that will help you navigate your way in this whole cryptocurrency space other than that like share subscribe turn on the notifications join our discord our telegram server I will see you guys in the next time. Let me get back to it. And uh, I'm sorry about uh, the poor audio quality, but I'm out here uh, just uh, enjoying myself in this uh, sunny side of Africa. I'm just about to head on over to the beach and take a swim. But I will be with you in just a little bit with another banger. Peace and love, y'all.